Last spring, I went to Greg Judy's farm for his annual grazing school. And they talked a lot about ultra high density grazing and how it has the potential to revitalize farms in just a couple years. Normally when we talk about grazing, we talk about stocking rate, which is how many animals are on a set number of acres. For example, here in Tennessee on a normal year, we need about two and a half acres per cow-calf pair. So on a 100 acre farm, we could run about 40 pairs. Another way to think about stocking rate is by animal weight. If our cows weigh about 1,200 pounds and we can run 40 cows, then our farm's carrying capacity is about 48,000 pounds. If you divide 48,000 pounds by 100 acres, you get 480 pounds per acre. Now let's talk about stock density. We'll use the same numbers as before to keep this simple. Remember, our farm supports 40 cows that weigh 1,200 pounds each for a total herd weight of 48,000 pounds. If we give the cows access to all 100 acres, our stock density is 480 pounds per acre. But what if we use temporary electric fence to cut the farm in half and run the herd on one side at a time? Now we have doubled our stock density to 960 pounds per acre. If we cut it again, stock density would jump to nearly 2,000 pounds per acre, and so on, leading us to wonder, what is the maximum limit? What do ultra-high stock densities look like? And what would it do for the soil? This brings us to today. We're gonna use our little herd to graze at a stock density of 500,000 pounds per acre on this cover crop field. And we want to see if the extra density while grazing will have a more positive impact than just grazing rotationally like we normally do. For this experiment, our herd weighs 27,500 pounds and our target density is 500,000 pounds per acre. This gives us a target pin size of 0.055 acres. Obviously, this would be impossible to measure, so we need to multiply this by 43,560 feet to convert the figure from acres to square feet. Now, our target pin size is 2,396 square feet. We will use a temporary wire to fence a strip through the field that is 50 feet wide. This means we should cross fence every 48 feet to achieve our density goal of 500,000 pounds per acre. For a lot of the day, the calves have been outside the pen because they have more room and they're more comfortable out there. Now they're coming back. And really even at 500,000 pounds per acre, this is not too cramped for little baby calves.
they are definitely eating the cover crop a little better now that they're a little bit hungrier. I'm sure they'll still walk a lot of it in the ground this time also. But this time we did put up a back fence here to keep them from walking back on this part that they've already grazed. There is the question of what happens if this actually works. We know that grazing like this at ultra high densities won't actually work on a large scale, but we would like to know if increasing the density does make a difference while grazing cover crops because the reality is we can lay the cover crop on the ground like this with the roller crimper. Uh, we just can't add the beneficial biology that uh, is in the cow's manure. And the other part of that is when the cow is digesting what they eat, um, it breaks that down and decreases the carbon to nitrogen ratio. So those are all benefits of grazing, um, but we wanna know if we can improve that, those benefits or um, increase those benefits by increasing the density that we graze at. And so the quickest way to find out if that makes a difference is to do these small scale tests. For 500,000 pounds per acre, we've been running our pins 48 feet long. This time, we're gonna try a million pounds per acre, which means we're gonna stop here at 24 feet. And then we'll go 50 feet that way. I've always wanted to know what a million pounds per acre would look like. And here it is. Not much extra room. They do seem to be getting the hang of it as far as eating more of it. And they're still plenty full. If you look at right here on their side, there's a little triangle right here. I'll see if I can find one. If you can see on this cow right here, there's just a tiny little divot there. It's shaped like a triangle when the cows are really hungry. And it's a good thing that we can't see any of them very defined right now because that means the cows are still pretty full. And when you're moving, when you're rotating them like this, it's good to watch that spot on their side to make sure that they're not getting too empty. There is still a lot of trampling going on, but I think as they've gotten a little bit less full from this morning, it seems like they have gotten a little bit more aggressive in their grazing, which is another benefit of increased stock density. But overall, they look pretty full and content. So if we were gonna continue grazing, we would build more fence and just keep going just like this. Um, but honestly, it is a lot of work and that has to be considered um, when creating a grazing plan. Would I graze long-term like this? No, way too much work. But it is nice to know what a million pounds per acre looks like and it's also nice to have that tool in your pocket just in case you need to improve a specific area. And this is the end of our experiment for today. We will be planting corn and uh, I'm sure we'll make another video when the corn's coming up. And then also again at harvest to see if our efforts today made any difference on this tiny strip and to see if the increased density actually does make a difference compared to normal rotational grazing and roller crimping. So if you're still watching and you like the video, we hope you'll like it. If you have any ideas for us to try, we hope you'll leave us a comment. And if you don't want to miss the next videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.